Implicit memory uh, is that which we, we don't describe with words. It's, it's more right brain phenomena that stores the past experiences that don't have words. So they never come to a verbal explanation, unlike explicit. Like explicit is what we remember and can talk about, right? This is where the body is so helpful uh, in addressing implicit memory, because the imprint of whatever happens to us is held in the body. And then again, we can use that to reveal implicit phenomena. And not just in the body, I would say in any, in any unconscious habit. Like uh, I, uh, Ron Kurtz, who was my best friend and my most important teacher, uh, whom I worked with from the 70s until this year when he, he passed away in January. And I remember him working with uh, a young man who talked like this, like every sentence he said, it would go up at the end, and he'd have this questioning look on his face, completely unconscious. He didn't realize he was doing it. And Ron stopped him and pointed that out. And he said, so just talk some more and just exaggerate, just be aware of it as you talk, you know, be aware of your voice going up. And as he did that, he just started to weep. And he immediately got it that he was saying, do you understand me? And he said, nobody's ever understood me. And that showed up in the way he used his voice. Um, so that implicit system is in our habits of movement, prosody, the way we look at people, you know, the angle of the head, our gestures, all that history is stored in, the, in those implicit uh, ways. But you know, when we're um, tracking the body and body reading, we're really looking for indicators of, of implicit memory uh, and so that so that it so that which can't even be talked about can be addressed you know and be brought to awareness